Hey YouTube land, have you seen this Anafi, can you even see it on my phone, Anafi FPV? Right here I'll show you a screen display of it. So, the Parrot and Naffy, this thing here came out a while ago, and I got mine when it first came out. And Parrot, you know, they've downsized, but apparently they're still improving the Anafi, which is a good thing because the Anafi is a really good drone. So now Parrot's made this uh, newer, well, it's not really a newer version, it's the same Anafi, uh, but they have a kit. So you get this, you get a bag to carry it around in so you could do some adventures, and you get Sky Controller 3, you know, the one that came with the original, and you get uh, some FPV goggles. Now, flip these around. These are not the goggles that Parrot sells. The Parrot goggles are a little bit different. They call them something else. And these are not even FPV goggles. For some reason, in the world of FPV, FPV is usually race or freestyle quads. You know, when we put on fat sharks and we get a 5.8 gigahertz signal at analog back to our goggles, that's FPV. These are called VR goggles, but and Afi calls them FPV, as well as DJI. DJI has that massive thing that goes on the head. They call those FPV too. So FPV is first person view. And I guess in reality, in, when it comes right down to it, it is FPV because you're getting a first person view. This is not an FPV race quad. It doesn't fly like one, it never will. It just can't, it's not designed for one. But they try to make the cinematic footage similar to that. So. They've added a few modes now. Now, if you have the original Parrot, like I have here, you're going to get these modes. So now what I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to show you the new modes that uh, this new Anafi FPV comes out with because everybody who's got an Anafi has those new modes because it's in the app. So I have the app. I just downloaded it. So I'll show you what the new modes are and uh, I'll try to show you the, uh, the FPV goggles, even though these are not them, and I'll explain what the difference is in a minute. So here we go. All right, got my Parrot and Affy down here, got my phone. Take a look at the lower left of my phone. Out of here, bird! <laughs> the birds love me for some reason. So down here it says film. So I click on it, you see I have film, sports, cinematic, racing. So cinematic's new, racing is new, and over on the right you have the arcade, which is also new. So. Let me just take off in film mode and this thing should automatically start recording. I'm just going to back up so it doesn't hit me in the head and hit this little take off button. And we should be good to go. Yes, go away birds. <laughs> Let me take it up there. So watch what happens. I'm going to fly forward. I'm in film mode. So move forward. This is the Peridonafi moving forward in film mode. It's very slow because, well, you're filming, so nothing exciting. All right, let's stop that. Now let's go change it. I'm going to not change it to sport, but I'm going to go to cinematic. This is supposed to be the one where it feels like I'm in a kite or a glider. So let's go forward. Nothing exciting. Now let's see what happens when I turn to the right. Going to the right. Whoa! Do you see how my whole world is tilting? Come around and coming around. So it's like a glider, sort of like FPV. So if I was flying an FPV race quad and I was turning a corner, I would get banking like that, probably a little bit more severe. And if I want to bank the other way, there we go. So that's pretty sweet. You can get some cool cinematic things like that. Don't mean to fly over you kids. They're <laughs> probably wondering, why is there a drone flying over me? Coming back. And when you release the joystick, it uh, as I move it, it comes back really smooth. Watch this, I'm gonna go this way and now I'm gonna release it. And watch, it just straightens itself out nicely. Let me just go up a little bit more. So that's pretty sweet. All right, so let's stop there and try the next one. So I'm gonna go stop. And I'm on cinematic. Let's go to racing. Okay, here's insanity at its best. Here we go. Forward, full speed. Racing, I'm gonna turn to the left. Whoa, we're gonna start to get erratic. Whoa, get over that lamp. Didn't even see that. See, that's a little dangerous. All right, so come back this way. And if I go to the right, see, it's more erratic. All it's done is it's allowed it no longer to be smooth. So that could look pretty cool if you're making a movie and you want it to show uh, speed and say, whoa, watch this, I had to dodge something, turn that way or turn this way. So that is the race mode. See, it says arcade, I'm gonna stick it in arcade. 
Welcome to arcade mode. This mode is a different style of piloting. Be sure to have wide spaces around before starting the tutorial. So let's go through this together. Start. It shows my little switch on the front, which would normally be my camera up and down. It says going up and down. So in other words, as I move the camera up or down, the drone will go up and down. And if you look at the joysticks, I can tilt the camera with the left joystick. And if you look at the joystick on the right, I can move the drone forward and backwards and also shift left and right. So this should be a lot of insanity. I'm going to point the camera over here. So this would make sense. I'm using my left joystick to point the camera in this direction. At least if I look down, I don't want to, I don't want to dive bomb anybody, but see that green thing down there? So I look down and I'm point, looking at the green thing and now I'm going to move the right joystick forward and it should be taking me down to where I'm looking. So wherever I'm looking, as I can keep on moving the camera, is where I'm going to go. So that's what it's doing. It's flying to wherever I'm, I'm pointing the camera. So if I put the camera over at this picnic table over there, then I should carry on to that picnic table. It's a pretty sweet feature. I wish it went faster. Oh, no wonder I'm in film. Let me see if I could change that. Okay, I'm in sport. It should be faster now. So I would actually crash into the ground if I kept on going. So I have to look up so I don't crash. Yeah, so I am in sport. So wherever I look is where the drone is going. So this could be dangerous for a lot of people. So if, gotta, if I want to go way up in the sky, I look way up. And now it should be just cruising straight up into the sky. Easy to learn, not too difficult. So the more I move this joystick forward, the more it's just coming down to kamikaze crash into the ground. So here's my little drone down here, moving this little stick here, it goes up and down, up and down. And if I have it at that level, whatever I see on my screen is pointing at my head. If I move this one forward, it will dive bomb at my head. There we go, and backwards as well. Same angle, pretty sweet. Now I'm gonna try the little FPV goggles because there's an FPV mode in here as well for uh, VR goggles. So uh, these are not the ones you get on the site. The reason I say they're not the ones because these are like $10 ones or $15 ones you get off of Amazon. I bought them a long time ago. You can use them for anything. You just put your phone in the front seat, opens up, phone goes in the front. It's the same idea that the Parrot uh, goggles that you can buy are you know, similar, except the Parrot ones include a button on them. So apparently on the Parrot ones, you have a button probably someplace on the side. If you don't have the Parrot goggles, I'm sure you can buy them separately. I've never checked. But if you have just a cheap pair like I have, you can still fly VR mode because it's it's in the app. It's that simple. So I'm going to show you what it looks like as best I can. All I have to do is this. I'm going to put my phone in here. I'll try to stick a GoPro in here and try to show you what it looks like. It's not going to look good because you need two eyeballs to get VR mode because it splits the screen. If you're looking at the screenshots on my phone, let's go put it in VR mode. So I'll go to manual flight. Look over on the bottom right. It says FPV. That's VR mode. Click on that. Now watch what happens to my screen. Ta-da! I have two eyeballs. So as I look around, there's my hand in front of my drone. If you take this phone and stick it in here like this. So now my phone is in here. You probably, can you see it? So you would just close this up, stick this on your head, and that's VR mode. Where am I? Where are you, camera? Are you, have you lost face tracking? And that's VR mode, or as Parrot calls it, FPV mode. I think I figured out how Parrot is doing this. So each time I tap my phone display, watch what happens. So. I get this overlay and I can use the joysticks and move through. See, I'm just using the joysticks here. So I'm moving the joystick and I'm moving through the options on the screen. Now I don't know if the GoPro will show you what it looks like. Probably not. It's probably too dark. Let me just see here. Yeah. Probably can't see in there, can you? No, you're just getting reflections. Oh, can you see anything in there? Or is that just a big disaster? No, there you go. So there's one eyeball. Let me pick up the Anafi. There we go. So you see my head? I'm holding it. Now you're looking at VR. That's one eyeball. Now if I go to the other eyeball over here, there I am again. So there you go. So that's what, eh, it's not very good. Anyways, you get the picture because I'm not getting the picture here. So it certainly looks like you can fly this VR. So here, let me try it. Now you will have to get a longer cable going from here to here. I'm just using a really short one, but I'm sitting it on the table, so it's fine. Lose the glasses. Put this on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. This looks wild. So I see two trees down there. And if I fly forward, yeah, it's no problem. It shows me all sorts of information on the screen, everything I'd normally see. So I can imagine if you flew this in arcade mode, it would be pretty sweet. Let's bring it down. There we go, the Anafi should be coming down behind me. Someplace back there. Good, missed the swamp by that much. All right, so there you have it. That is the Parrot Anafi FPV. So if you don't have a Parrot Anafi and you want the entire kit, yeah, it seems like it's a good deal because you get a backpack and you get the goggles. You don't have to go get them. 
and you get the Anafi and you get the Sky Controller and a bunch of other stuff. So it's it's a pretty decent deal. If you haven't seen the deal or the website, I'll put links below so you can go check it out. Now, if you already have a Parrot Anafi, my God, do not buy the FBV kit because you have everything. You just have to do like I did. Just go get yourself some of these goggles off of Amazon. I'll put a link below to where you can get them. They're not very expensive. When I got these a couple of years ago, they were like $10. They might be $30 now. I don't know. But anyways, I'll put links to them and you can go uh, get yourself a pair. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next video with more drone, boat, RC cars, you name it. I'll have those reviews. Take care. Catch you in the next one.